It is Halloween 2024. Happy Halloween, everyone. I am going to make some cute little ghosts out of resin. I've seen Julie Cuts do them. I've seen a lot of other people do them, and I thought I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon and do them too. Have about 12 minutes to do them, so we're gonna kind of go through the whole process. I've got some table scatter, I've got some uh, pigment powders that I'm gonna use. I've got some things that I'm gonna throw in the resin. I've got some tea lights. First, I wanna thank Donna with It's Art by Donna for inviting me to this collab. I want to thank the beautiful Marie Louise uh, for going before me. I'm sure she had a magnificent, beautiful piece of art to show you guys. And of course, the wonderful Yen with Yen Draws channel comes after me. I can't wait to see what she has in store for us as well. Again, thank you, Donna, for inviting me. I appreciate it. Um, let's get busy. I am going to use KS Resin as my resin. And I am going to uh, just measure it out. I want about four ounces of resin. So I'm going to put two ounces of resin in each one of these cups. I'll go three to make sure. So I've got one and a half of the hardener to one and a half of the resin. And then I'm just going to stir that for about four minutes in each one of these cups. And I'll be back. Okay, we are back and we are going to color up this resin. So I have one of the first pigments I ever bought. It was in like a cheap little container, a little plastic thing that had like lots of them in it. And this one is called Diamond Dust. So I am going to put just a little bit of this in here. It's kind of like a silver. And that's gonna be the bottom of one of my ghosties. And then I have a Gunpowder Gray by Alpha Pigments. I love their pigments. I'm going to use this as one. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to use another Alpha Pigment, and it is called Electro Violet. It's a purple. And then I'm going to use this beautiful Vitamin C by Alpha Pigments. And then the top part of my ghost will be white. Now we're just going to mix these up. Super shimmery and pretty. It's the first time I'm using these alpha pigments in a resin. I've used them in paint. Super pretty color. Love that. And the vitamin C. This big cup of resin is going to be my white for my ghost on the top. Oh yeah, it's gonna be super, super cute. And this is like a pearl white. That'll be the middle of my ghost, the top of my ghost. So, all right. So now I'm going to make me a little barrier here. I always make a mess with these. <laughs> Leave me a comment and let me know where you find these at if you work with them. Because I find them everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I just wanna, you know, come out a little bit with the ring. I'm just using the glass thing just to give me an idea of how far I want to go. And the bag should release itself from the resin once it dries. Some of them may be taller than the others, but um, that's okay. Well, gotta make sure that our circle is not open, that it's closed. Alright, so the first one we're going to pour is the vitamin C. We're going to go around the edge and then we're going to pour the white in the middle. Okay that one. Now we're going to do the purple and I'm going to come back in about three hours. I've never been a first on my channel here lately. I've been doing some new stuff so hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, this is just fun stuff here. Fun Halloween stuff. Here is the kind of like silverish color. This is going to be almost the same. It'll be fun to see if it's like different. Oh <laughs> I always have a oops. Always have a oops. You guys know that, right? Always have a oops. And we have this gunmetal gray color. Little ghosties. Fun. Okay, now we're going to pour the white in the middle. And then we're going to let this be for about three hours. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to make some little things to put these on top of. Okay, let's see here. For a little bit at a time so I have enough. I think I do, but make sure. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, they're gonna be so cute. Yay, guys, I had enough. 
never done this before and I had enough. How about that? Okay, I am going to move this around a little bit and go around the edges just to attach it and then pass over this with a torch to get a few of the bubbles out and Okay, be back. Okay, everyone, I added a few more of the table scatter around the edges. I did get a few inside uh, here and I have not got them out. I don't know if I will. They'll probably just slide down. Should be okay, but I do want to show you. I'm touching this and it's coming up a little bit and I don't know if I'm moving it too soon. So what I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I made my little snowman bodies. So I have a friend who I adore who is always bringing me things that I do not need. I love her. Her name is Liz. Elizabeth, I love you. Christmas last year, she bought me a decanter and it had four of these little shot glasses. Never used them. I'm using them today. I was like, what can I use for this little snowman body? Not snowman body, a uh, ghost body. So I have my little cups here. These fit perfectly on here. So we're gonna put that like that. I'm going to take a piece of tape. And I'm basically just going to tape this around the cup so it doesn't move. Some of mine are not really straight, but this one's straight. And then I found these. A lot of people use these for ping pong ball. In my house, we use them for beer pong. Don't judge me, but I am using them to mold my ghost head. So just kind of taping them down a little bit inside my shot glass so that it will not move. And voila, I have a ghost body mold that I can drape these over the top. It will be the perfect height. Then I will take my tea lights and place underneath them and turn them on. So, all right. And it's been about two and a half hours. Oh, now I'm gonna have this stuff everywhere. We're gonna take this here and we are just going to drape this right in the middle. That. It will go down far enough. And I want to put some little, other little things on here, so. Try to put him in there like that. Put a few of those in there on him and the other one. And it helps that I have it on this little round thing. That way I can kind of turn it around. Maybe I should have made these bigger. <laughs> but still, I think they're gonna be cute either way. be cute though yeah I can always attach them later I just thought it would be cute I think my head is too big not my head my I don't know why I want to say snowman my ghost head is too big this one's gonna be really cool uh, maybe I'll wait on the other the other ones, but basically that's that's the that's the whole thing is what I'm trying to do. So see it? It's cool. Cool beans. Okay. Alright. Wish me luck. This one's falling all apart. And uh, we'll see how we can fix them tomorrow. That being said, we'll see. <laughs> Hi guys, I have been making a mess here. So I got to the point of pulling things out and I can't get my bags out from under my ghosties. So yeah, don't do this. Don't use bags in your ghosts. Yeah, so I have those issues, but they're really cute. Really, really cute, really, really cute. I've gotta maybe cut that part off. Cause that's too long 
Um, I think I can just, but I love them. Uh, I love this one. There. Oh my gosh, cute. He's cute. He's a little crooked. Oh, no, he's not. He will be cute. Yeah, he's crooked. No, he's not. He's cute. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that or not, but. If you can see it glowing, you see it glowing in there? Anyway. Okay, note, this bag is coming right out. So this is the Big Lots bag. Big Lots bag works against the resin. Came right out. So if you're gonna use a bag inside the resin for the ghost, Big Lots works fine. I will make a note of that. Hack. We got our answer at the very end. Super cool, super cool, super cool. I will get these reattached. And I'm basically just gonna get some snippers and snip these off and then like reattach them with my glue gun. And I will set them all up and take pictures of them and uh, we'll see what they look like. Yeah. And I'm going to fix all the other ones um, with some heat gun and stuff and then I will return with all of them fixed up. So stay tuned. So here they are. I don't know if you can see them. They're all lit up. Really cute. Let me turn the flash off. Super glittery. Next year I'll do them taller, but they are super pretty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. They're really super cool. I just love them. So thanks again guys for inviting me for this Halloween collaboration. I appreciate it. Happy Halloween and stay tuned for Yen Draws. Thanks Donna. Happy Halloween guys.